Extrusion. Sounds really trivial, right? You just need to select a polygon, press E on a keyboard and extrude it like this. And it's really simple and easy and straightforward. So why the whole tutorial about the extrusion? You will see why. For example, you want to extrude this polygon down like that. And if you're a beginner and a lot of people are struggling with this, you just select the polygon, press C and uh, this is not what I want. So I have some extra things here. Maybe I want to go and select this and this face, uh, this and uh, and uh, uh, what's going on here? I don't know. Or maybe let's go to to vertices. Maybe let's select this vertex, vertex and just delete it. Oof, very bad. Maybe, yeah, maybe edges. I want to select this and this edge and just delete the edges. Oh, still nothing. May yeah, maybe I need to move these edges down. Oh yeah, I need to select all the edges, I know. Then move them down. Oh, still not that. I know, I need to select these two edges and then just dissolve them, right? Yes, yes, that's it. I don't need a tutorial, I solved it like this. Yeah, but uh, it's not that uh, elegant, so why not just select this polygon and extrude it like this, why? Well, let me show you all the extrusion methods in Blender and how easily you can achieve really great results without some extra necessary steps. So first of all, we have the extrusion tool right here on the left side on the toolbar. If you want to use toolbar, this is how you should do it. Click, hold, and you have a lot of different options. Extrude region is just a simple extrusion where you select a polygon like this and just move it up or down. If you move it down, you'll have this problem, but move it up and then up and then, I don't know, select anything like that. I personally prefer shortcuts, so select, I don't want this to see, so select the polygon, press E on a keyboard and move it up. Press E and move it out and move it wherever you want, up or down, etc. So this is how I like to do it. Everything that you have here, you have in keyboard shortcuts, so I will now show you the method right there and then I will show you how to do it with keyboard shortcuts. Let's move this object a little bit like here. Let's create a cylinder and for example, we want this and this to inset it, pressing I, inset and then select this and extrude it down. So press E and extrude it down or just go here and just move it down. Okay, we have some kind of a cup shape, perfect. And I want to press Control R to just make a few loop cuts here, perfect. And then let's say I want to select this face, and this face, and I want to make some kind of a handle around. There is a cool way to extrude it using extrude to cursor. So let me show you, just select that and just click, 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 click. And you have really cool, simple handle. And if you just make really smooth, you will have really cool effect, except that you need to connect this. But that's not the point of this tutorial. The point is that you can really easily extrude things with this extrude to cursor, just select it and just wherever you press, it will go and extrude like that. Really handy in bunch of situations. Right, the next way of extruding is to select multiple faces. And if you press E and just extrude it, you will have this. Perfectly fine, straight ahead and that's it. But you have something that is called extrude along normals. And if you do that, it will extrude along the normal of each face and the normal is something that is in the middle of the face facing 90 degrees like this straight out of the face so per perpendicular to the face and this is it it will extrude along the normals and sometimes this is more than useful a lot of times then you have extrude individuals so it's the same like extruding the normals but without grouping them together so this is extrude individuals and this is extrude, I don't want these faces, I just want this, extrude with normal. So see the difference, they're going on perpendicular to the face that you're extruding, but here they are connected together and here they're separate. So really simple and easy. In order to do the keyboard shortcuts, press Alt and E, and then you will have exactly the same options that you have here. I like to do keyboard shortcuts, so I just want to select my faces and press Alt T and okay, I want extrude individual faces, perfect. Or extrude along normals, perfect. They are not connected now, it will do the same operation. And now the mystery of how to do this cool extrusion 
like this. This is really simple and easy, let me show you. Select the face and go here and say extrude manifold. So this is it, and just do that and perfect. You did, you did it. Select this face, Alt T, extrude manifold. And here we have it, really simple and easy without necessary, uh, without unnecessary steps to select uh, edges, to dissolve the edges and so on and so forth. And with this, you can really achieve some great results. So really simple and easy like this. I don't know, you can do whatever you want with this. See, and create really, really cool shapes. So these are all the methods that you can do by extruding objects in different ways, except there is one more thing that you can extrude also edges or vertices is the same. So if you want to extrude this edge, you can still go E to extrude it like this, or you can go with Alt E and you have these options or here you have other options like extrude region, extrude along normals, extrude it, same. So you can also go with extrude to cursor. Also what I forgot to show you, extrude to cursor, there is a cool way. So here it will go like this, but with the keyboard shortcuts, if you want to extrude this to cursor, just press and hold control and left click of the mouse and just hold the control and this is it. It will go wherever you are leading it. So this is it. Let me show you another bonus tip right here. So for example, you want to extrude something and you want to use extrude manifold option because you want to have that cool result, but you just press E on a keyboard and you have this and you forgot, you don't need to undo it. You have this menu right here. If you don't see it, just go right here and expand it. And you just need to press this dissolve orthogonal edges and you will have the extrude manifold option. So that's basically it. It automatically weld these edges together and that's it. If you want to move it outside, you can play with the Z here. And if you want to have that edge, just deselect this and you will have a regular extrude. So one more time, let me show you here. If you want to use extrude manifold, you extrude it, but then you need this edge for some reason. You want to extrude this part, just deselect this and then you can go and extrude this however you want. This is really useful, really handy. Check out this menu and play with these options right there. Really simple, really easy, really fun. Let me know down there in the comments. Did you know about all these methods? Did you use it? Did you struggle with some kind of extrusion? Especially the manifold part uh, is amazing because a lot of people, I know that a lot of people are struggling with uh, that option. So let me know down there in the comments below and see you in my next fun video. Bye bye.